this tree right here is kind of um, in the open, so it had more sun, so the blossoms are a little bit more progressed. And you can see here that if you count an apple blossom, it's going to be very similar to what happens when you cut an apple horizontally. You're going to see that there's a five star, five, five pointed star, and on an apple blossom, there's five petals. And inside the very center of the blossom, maybe you'll remember this from grade school, there's the pestles that have pollen, and then there's the stamen. And the stamen has a sticky pad, and that's what grabs the pollen when a bee goes in usually and pollinates it. Here you see the blossoms already left, but you can kind of see more of, the, of what it looks like. And so what happens is that the pollen will stick onto the stamen. It's kind of like a catcher's mitt in the middle of the flower. And then the pollen will go down into like this vase type of thing. And at the very bottom is the ovaries, like the eggs. And so when the pollen hits the ovaries, then boom, it starts making an apple. So that's how we get apples in our apple orchard. But what happens is that sometimes there are certain varieties of apples, like the Red Delicious, that require pollen from a different kind of variety. It's called cross-pollinization. And if they don't get the pollen from another apple tree that's a different variety, like a Jonathan tree, then the flower will end up falling off, the petals will fall off, and this part here will dry up, and there will never be an apple. It will just be a little branch with leaves on it. So that is why we're asking for everybody's support this week during spring break. We would like you to come and enjoy the apple orchard, and we really would appreciate your help. We have this special pollen that's for the apples, for the red delicious apples. And what we need to do is we need to take a paintbrush and put a little dab of that pollen right inside the middle of the blossom where the stamen is. And then that way it will make an apple hopefully. And then we'll be able to have apples in the fall. So if you would like to help us with this endeavor, we have about 400 apple trees. We would just love for you to come out on Thursday morning and enjoy the apple orchard. And you can bring a picnic. Um, children are welcome to come and come help us paint the orchard and paint the blossoms. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye. For more information about us, you can look at us at U, capital U dash pick, Messia Valley Apples on Facebook. Or our website is www.appleofjoy.com. We are located in Las Cruces, New Mexico. We are five miles from West Picacho. If you go down West Picacho and you pass the river, um, you make a right at the stoplight of Shalem Colony Trail, and we are one mile down the road on the right. So I look forward to seeing you. If you need to give us a call, our phone number is 575 523 Seven four three seven. Happy spring.